Welcome O2 fans to another Third Earth Reviews Toy Review, and today I'll be reviewing the Masters of the Universe Origins He-Man from Mattel. So before we take a look at her figure, let's take a look at the packaging. He-Man is sold on a blister card packaging that fully showcases the figure that is very similar to the original 1980s packaging design. His accessories lay at his feet and his mini comic is behind him. On the back of the blister card, there's a fantastic illustration featuring the character, along with images of other figures sold separately. Overall, He-Man is a great upgrade from his original toy counterpart. The additional articulation gives this figure more playability and displayability in your collection. But there's not much of a sculpted detail, excluding the head sculpt, the paint deco is well done and very clean. There's some minor changes to the paint deco from the original toy counterpart, such as the additional yellow paint for his boots, and the different shade of hair color and skin tone. An interesting feature in this line is that He-Man's parts are interchangeable with the other Motu Origin figures, as well as the Masters of the WWE Universe figures. The interchangeable parts include the head, arms, hands, waist, and boots. He-Man has similar articulation to all of the new Motu Origin figures, meaning his head is on a ball joint, so he can look up and down, as well as left to right. His shoulders have the same ball-like joints so they can move forwards, backwards, and out to the side. Both his elbows and his wrists can bend and rotate. He-Man has a swivel at the waist, while his legs can move forwards, backwards, and out to the side. There's swivels and bends at his knees, standard swivels at his boots, and rockers at his ankles so his feet can move up and down, as well as side to side. He-Man comes with a few different accessories, including his signature power sword, an axe, removable armor, shield, and the mini-comic. Each weapon is very similar to the original toy counterpart. The axe and shield are made of a dark gray plastic, while the power sword is a slightly lighter gray plastic. The power sword is only half, so it can be joined with Skeletor's half of the power sword to open Castle Grayskull. For anyone interested in getting one of these figures for yourself, you can find the Motu Origin figures exclusively sold at Walmart, and they retail about $14.99. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. I will have another Motu review up in the near future. So, until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.